Before I tell you guys exactly how much I paid for this figure, just keep in mind, I've never even met McFarlane in person. I've never even shook his hand because then I would probably never wash it. And no, I'm also not his son because then I would be probably like a thousand times more handsome. But all jokes aside, I actually found this figure at Raw's for about $5.99. And I know what most of you guys are thinking, what is this poor ass dude doing at Ross? Well, I do occasionally shop there for the most part. I'll, you know, drop in like every couple of weeks, see if there's any cool Marvel Legends or any cool McFarlane action figures for a discount. I also like buying socks there. I don't know why. I'm not, I'm just not going to pay $10 for a pair of socks. Ross usually has some uh, pretty affordable socks, but I've said too much. Why am I explaining myself to you guys? I did go to Ross. I found it for $5.99 and Honestly, if you paid full price, my heart goes out to you and your wallet because that's absolutely brutal. But yeah, I did pick up this figure for $5.99, but I'm going to pretend at least in my head that I paid full price for the sake of this review. I'm not going to keep in mind that I paid $6. Otherwise, I may be a little bit more lenient on the figure. But like I said, I'm just going to pretend I paid the 20 or the 22 dollars for this figure even though i paid six dollars eat your heart out now i'll be brutally honest with you guys this wasn't a source material that i was really excited about i am a huge fan of black adam i just thought that the whole dc cinematic universe was in complete disarray we still had james gunn like right around the corner uh, he was just about to announce that he was going to take over so it just didn't make a lot of sense to get too excited about it on top of that the the movie was kind of like a jumbled mess it's not the worst film of all time i watched it it was okay but i wouldn't necessarily re-watch it on a consistent basis so i think that was a real turnoff so because of the source material not being great i was really turned away from a lot of the products having said that i will be brutally honest with you this figure definitely did not disappoint point the likeness is pretty decent the sculpt work all around the figure is just absolutely phenomenal great paint work i do i will say there was a lot of like overlapping and some really sloppy paint work around the wrists and the hands but aside from that the figure looks really well done the wash all over the body the the belt piece everything just really stands out that little wash on uh his little emblem in the middle of his chest also really brings it to life like i said it's not a perfect paint job but because of the wash it really brings the figure to a completely new level having said all of that everything else is kind of a little bit subpar the throne obviously is you know really cheap plastic it's really light i'm assuming that it was going to cut too much into the budget so they just assumed we're going to give him a cheap uh, throne and I have no problem with it. It is a $20 collectible and this isn't the first time that we've gotten a throne from McFarlane. We did get one that's a completely different sculpt with a Lex Luthor in a power armor. And I also picked that figure up just because of the throne. I thought the, the throne alone, if you were looking to buy it from like a third party marketplace, it's usually going to cost you way more than just like, let's say $10 if you divided the throne and the figure like 50 50 it's still a phenomenal value so i did pick it up for that uh because of it obviously you're not going to get extra hands any extra accessories aside from the throne but uh, again phenomenal sculpt work there great wash the articulation is one of those things if you if you've ever played with an action figure from mcfarland you know exactly what to expect it's a little bit limited here and there for the most part not, not no huge issues no huge gripes for me personally i will say the forward and backward ab crunch are they're decent same thing with the butterfly joints decent nothing too crazy the double jointed elbows the double jointed knees and the leg articulation is just phenomenal but aside from that like i said you could get a little bit more if they did deeper cuts with the butterfly joints same thing with the ab crunch and then uh the the ankle articulation is a little bit limited but as i said this is just a really well done figure even if i had paid that full 20 dollars price point i wouldn't be angry this figure was definitely crafted with a lot of love you can tell just from the sculpt work the texturing all over the suit i definitely feel like they put forth the effort we have seen a few figures from mcfarland and they're kind of one-offs here and there but we have seen a lot of them that just have plastic they're, they're not painted and it's a little bit frustrating for consumers especially like i said if you're paying that 20 22 dollar price point but in this particular case, I see no problems. I see no issues. The, the, the figure just looks really well done. 
it looks like they uh, actually put effort towards it, which is something that you don't usually see. Like I said, from McFarlane, from time to time, he'll have slip ups where it's just like gray plastic with a little bit of different paint plastered here and there. And then sometimes they have absolutely no wash. So it doesn't bring out those details, those lines quite as well as if they did have a wash so like i said for me personally nothing too insane just a really good solid figure i don't like giving ratings i don't like giving numbers because you guys know i'm not really a reviewer the, the channel really doesn't get a lot of views when it comes down to reviews so i don't really work too much on them but if i did have to give it a score i would probably say it's like a solid eight kind of like with the batman uh, from Batman versus Superman. It's just solid, nothing too crazy, aside from the wash and the sculpt work, which I think was really well done. There's still some little minor issues here and there that they could work on, and I think eventually McFarlane will get there, and hopefully he kind of like rounds out his game, but I, I feel like he's very close to it. He's doing a phenomenal job, and this is just a great example of that. So in my personal opinion, if you do happen to pick this figure up, and by now you can probably pick it up for sale, I think tops you, you, you would probably be paying around like 12 to 15 dollars still a great value but go out there go hunting go to your ross uh, your local ross maybe the clearance section at target the, these figures are widely available don't be like me don't let the source material kind of turn you away from uh such a great figure so just my personal opinion like i said probably like a really solid eight like eight three eight four around there i just think it's just a, a good solid pickup if you're able to uh find it for the right price so like i said i don't really do a lot of reviews on the channel they don't really get a lot of views so i kind of tend to stay away from them but i just felt like i had to for this figure massively underrated i think a lot of people maybe shied away from it because they didn't necessarily love the film but it's a figure worth picking up it's a lot of fun and uh, you definitely won't regret it let me know your thoughts down below did you guys pick it up did you enjoy it did you nod? What are your gripes with it? Very curious to see what you guys have to say. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys like uh, this type of content, definitely check out the channel. We don't really do a lot of reviews, but we do a ton of topics like top five for action figures or just random ramblings about uh, the action figure community and what's coming in, what's coming out, and then just my my overall thoughts on it. So as I said, if you guys enjoy action figure content, this is definitely the place for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.